What's up? Welcome to the Star Pod. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, welcome, welcome over. Uh, where do we start? I got a couple keyboards. This is the mobile keyboard. Usually I don't have this guy set up. Fuck it. You like the doors? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's my key corner. It also doubles as a kitchen, but it's mostly a key corner. You know? I built it uh, pretty minimal. This can pull out to like a full-size mattress, but just living solo right now in here. The tour is kind of the art. This is the first thing I painted, and it's the mountains in between Phoenix and Southern California. When you drive down the 10, you'll see these mountains. Thought I might as well add the blue sky because it looked like that at one time. The astral realm, and this is the physical realm. And you know, we just gotta live in harmony. This is a Mimosa hostilis, a high DMT containing plant that you can extract from. Our friends, the mushroom. And this has mescaline on this particular cactus. Psychedelics are the connection between uh, spirituality and logic, science, and that fun stuff. My wife made these curtains. Maybe I'll tie dye them or something. Went to like an RV junkyard, found some windows, measured them out, had a hole made by myself. Usually I have lights that work, but my solar's on the fritz. You gotta get a new solar controller. It broke, but it's really fancy. Under here we got a bunch of clothes, a narwhal onesie. Come over here. What do we got in here? A bunch of dye for tie dyeing. Garbanzos. Got some bamboo toilet paper because I love my planet. These are cool quilts my grandmother made before she passed away. But I have them in here to remind me to be creative. This one's cool too. Thanks for existing, Grandma. Avocado utensils because I love the planet, you know, classic. Marijuana paraphernalia. Bottle opener, this is a cool little kaleidoscope mushroom. This is my incense zone. Yeah, just give it to me. Bring it over here. It's gonna be like a sink zone. I usually just use it as like a fruit bowl. Here's my bathroom. I grab a compostable bag, because I love my planet. Let's throw it in there. And I just kinda, gotta have a fire extinguisher, everyone. Gotta have first aid kit. Got a huge bag of rice, some corn flour, creature dominoes. I don't even know how to play. Come over here. I may have brewed my own ayahuasca, but I may not have. But this is some harvested rose hips that um, a girl I was dating gave me. It's good for uh, cramps for ladies. She gave it to my wife. I'm polyamorous. Fun fact. This is my jacket. I have one and it has a cool little mushroom pin. Oh, up here, this is the good stuff. Christiania, gotta have it up. My friend Steven painted this for me. Cool thing my friend Dango drew. We're the physical and astral realm partying together. We're all on the same page. <laughs> my late friend Raver, he passed away, but I made these stickers before he passed away and he loved them, so. My friend Sparrow, she's the best, hanging out with Raver. Actually, this is Sparrow right here with my wife, and this is me and Jake DeJula. A lot of people might not know him, but a lot of people will know him. He's the best fucking dude on the planet, fun fact. Meow Wolf glasses, nice guy's 100% vegan. My wife works here. An actual bootleg Grateful Dead sticker from the parking lot. Google Skate Wild, because <laughs> you'll have a ton of fun if you hang out with those guys. I had a pet rat who passed away, and these are the doors from his little house. I got his footprint tattooed right here. My wife did it. These are my other weasels. Dry bones. Me and my friend's crew in Arizona were a little crazy. Oh, we got a cool scorpion vagina. Here's me and the missus, one of my missuses. MAPS, Multiple Disciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. The reason why there's a psychedelic renaissance happening right now, why the FDA is approving MDMA and psilocybin for therapeutic use is all beca because of this organization, this nonprofit. Uh, look up MAPS. Psychedelics will save your life. This is a medical conference I went to in Arizona for psychedelic medicine. This is what I used to look like. I used to just be really drunk all the time in, in this kind of outfit. You ever been to Moab? You can skate the rocks out there. I took this bad boy out there. New Mexico, the aliens are there. I've met them, they're cool. They usually come through this portal right here. I got a skylight, but I mostly use it for uh, stargazing. So it feels like you're in a spaceship 
And that's why I call it the star pod. A little uh, sunroof covers. When I first moved in, we had like a rug that was cut to fit in here because I didn't know what kind of floor I wanted. But I went with the black and white checkered board floor to remind you of the good and bad in the world and you gotta live in harmony, you know, all that stuff. That's anything that can remind you of that. Is, that's my, that's, I like it around. Our lease ended and we just hopped in here and just drove out to the desert, uh, me and my wife. And she's never really camped before, so she really got thrown out into the fucking, into the, into the trenches. <laughs> Luckily we had this hut. Now she's a camping pro. Here, let me show you my stove. This is the stove we, we use, but we usually use, you just find twigs and you put it in here. And then you put your whatever pot and whatever you're cooking right here. And it's like a single burner. My wife will make tortillas on that every morning. Get the day started, get some rice going, get some beans, you know. We're Hispanic, but you know, culture. Uh, this is the outside gym. Got a couple jugs full of water. Good for the body. Drink lots of water, everyone. You're all drinking not enough. I know you're not. Come on, drink another glass. Go get one. Got this cool cactus mirror. You know, Desert Vibes goes with the mountains. That's pretty much the gist of the star pod, Mikasa. I really, really am happy that you guys came and checked this out. Uh, come by again anytime. Love you, I dabble. Uh, we're gonna live forever. All right, here you go, jabronis. <laughs>